2010 was the period where it really I was you know like once I knew my blood pressure was I and the reason was that you know once we did the sonography that it's a, a polycystic kidney so the first thing was that you know my dad had the same problem and that really shook me because you know it was told that it is a polycystic disease which has been uh, genetically transferred to me i was like almost like i i i lost him when my dad was only 45 years and it was in 86 and uh, i was only uh, 13 years old so i knew not much about the sickness but i knew that dad had gone under a lot of uh, difficulties the period like i where i we used to go and see him in nursing home i did not know much about that time but i knew he was in hospital and he was he had gone to uh, nitty place in uh, ernakulam to do the treatment it was a period of only just one year that uh, after the sickness and uh, his death so you know i knew that it, the moment you have this disease it's very you know you, it's a matter of uh, any time so it can really drain you so that was a very negative time like you know why it happened to me i did not have any bad habits like you know drinking or excessive eating or you know i used to take care of my health and so i used to feel why why me why it happened to me and in my life there have been lot of ups and downs and it was a period where i had settled in my life and my career and uh, i had my child after 11 years of marriage so there was happiness in my life and then suddenly like you know uh, knowing about this like you know god gave me a child after long and after that when i come to know that you know i am having a sickness so that put me again into you know then i thought of thinking about my future my child's future and how all you know how uh, they'll have to manage and it, it was i was just trying to put myself what dad had gone through so that emotionally put me down but still there was a positiveness in me that god is there and he will take control we just have to believe i have a strong positive uh, mind so that only kept me moving in that period so but then uh, after having lot of treatment and a uh, diet ordered by doctor life was going on so you know i knew that in back of my mind that the sickness is is going to be after me so was bit uh, you know careful about the diet and all, all this this gone went on till 2017 and uh, 2017 end the things started you know getting out of control and uh, uh, by the end of uh, 2017 we thought of we had it uh, you know we just thought this the treatment is going on but there has to be some end to it like you know medicine but and the creatinine is slightly going up we thought seriously about it ki we should go for a transplant i did not want to go for a dialysis because i had experienced my dad undergoing uh, dialysis and my father in law also who had a uh, kidney problem whenever i used to go to the doctor i used to say doctor i do not want to go and undergo dialysis that was mentally my state that i need to go for a transplant and that is the only hope for me and then i had a positive thing that the age is with me so if i go for a transplant now when your body is fit it's better that you could do it now rather than you know delaying it for later part of it so that's where we took the decision but back of mind wherever any good things are happening this is always back in my mind ki you know i'm i'm with this disease but then the thing was like positiveness and faith in god that he will bring me out of it was the only thing that you know uh, made me come this head this far I cannot have any words for her kind or the noble acts that she has done. It was that I did not even had to ask her, you know, or when we talk about the sickness, who is going to give it. So she was, you know, not at all hesitant about it. She was there that up friendly she said, "I will give," you know, in spite of my family members being there. The first thing she said is she never said though she knew that the relatives, uh, you know, are the best to donate, the family members like father, mother or sisters, brothers. she even did not you know, wait for that stand to tell that i'll give so she was almost like you know, it's me it's my responsibility and that i have to you know she always used to say if you are not there there's no meaning in the life so that's what uh, she said ki i'm there so you don't have to think about it when this was about the transplant came out my sister my elder sister 
was ready to give, but uh, she could not give because she also had the similar problem. So out of question, and uh, my both the sisters having this polycystic uh, disease, though they are not affected much, but so the option of the family members had gone, and my mom could not donate because she is already a diabetic patient. So there was no other, you know, way. And she was willingly and you know. Upfrontly, it never. I never, you know, she made it so comfortable that I did not have to think about any other option. So mentally, I know it was a. Well, there were times I have cried a lot, but then I thought, ki no, God is there, and I was not thinking that anything will go wrong. I was always believing that everything is going to be well. So finally, after October, me we did our. Uh, Fistula because the creatine went high. So doctor said we cannot take the risk. So since we didn't want to go for dialysis, Doctor Barucha advised us that uh, it's better we will start the transplant procedure also. So my sister-in-law was there. Uh, she also wanted to give her kidney, but unfortunately when she uh, doctor had told that, and I told even I am willing to give. So doctor said first preference is my sister-in-law because she is a blood relative, and then me. So she did a sonography, but unfortunately she got she also got polycystic kidney. So she couldn't. So she was uh, doctors advised uh, told that she cannot give. Then I said I am okay with it. Then all my tests were done by God's grace. Everything was fine, and they said I was approved. We had a council meeting and all, and finally it was decided. Then was the most. I think this period from February onwards till May was the worst period in our life. We will go for the transplant. Now this the worst period I think which we had to go through was from February end onwards till uh, uh, May till the transplant was done. My husband was first we decided we will go for nephrectomy. First kidney would be removed since it's a polycystic kidney. February 27th he got admitted and I think 28th he had the surgery. Everything went well. We were very happy. One day before discharge we saw that his scrotum there was huge swelling over there. So we just asked the doctor. Even doctor was surprised. Ki what happened? Ki why uh, this is happening? But then afterwards we got the discharge and we did some tests. So we understood that there is some fluid getting discharged from his in his body because of which this thing had happened. So it it seems it was a rare uh, complication in the surgery, where in nephrectomy, uh, if the limbs are getting uh, cut, then this chyle leakage would happen and this problem is there. We were I, I like that was the period, but that was the worst period. And after that, we had done tapping two, three times. We did tapping. That also went through. Huh? Then doctor, they were not able to con. The chyle leaking was not stopping at all. Every time we do sonography, we could see that the water was uh, getting accumulated in the stomach. Finally, uh, doctor said that usually it happens, uh, but the sometimes rare scenarios it happens with a donor, but a recipient even it, it. I mean, they have not, never come across such situation. But by God's grace, Bharat sir said, ki, "Don't worry, everything will be fine." And he said, "We will go for the second uh, transplant." And uh, it was decided that uh, we will go for the earlier we had planned transplant and the removal of the second kidney would be done together. Then they said, ki, "No, we will not take the decision accordingly." We we will uh, change the plan. Second kidney will be removed first, and then we will go for a uh, transplant because already there is complication. And Bharat sir and all the doctors, Jitendra Jagtap and Pradeep Rao sir, everyone said that if the kidney is good, the kidney will only remove the extra fluid, whatever is getting accumulated. We will do that. So we were okay with that. Now while removing the second kidney, just two days before when we did the sonography, that time also I was there because in the sonography it was done in the emergency room. So. That time I could see that the doctor couldn't find any fluid in the water, so we were very happy. Ki, wow, there is no fluid in the body. We told doctor, doctor, we will go for, uh, we will post prepone the surgery. Before doing that preponing, and like we told the doctor, chalo. The doctor said, ha, acha, theek hai. So we will see the time and we will do the slot. Now while removal of the second kidney, they saw that there is chyle accumulated in the body. I mean, when they were removing and. Luckily, uh, Jitendra sir, he was going to do it from the left side only, so that while transplant it should be clean, he was of the opinion. But he was planning to do it from the right, and then he said ki we will keep it clean, and he did it from the left. That time he saw that again 3 liter of fluid was accumulated in the fluid. And he did what best he could do. He put all 3 types he was telling me, that he put sutures, and whatever he could do, he have done. And then he said, whatever best I could do for you, Julia, I have done it. Now, God will take care, you just believe. He just told that and he left. And I was actually positive that God had shown him मतलब earlier what was planned and what actually happened was completely different. So I felt God is God was with him and helping him to do the surgery perfectly. 
now after that that was over after 15 days around we did the transplant and by god's grace after the transplant immediately everything started functioning well and he was doing really good and that was the best period i think after easter matlab during the lent period was my worst period and after easter by god's grace everything went well in my life and today by god's grace i am really happy and god has taken care of us